I'm Dr. Norman Carter, Clinical Director for the Mott Children's Health Center in Flint. Today I will speak to you about nosebleeds. Nosebleeds are another very common problem we see quite often in the summer. And they may be caused by decreased humidity, allergies, medications like aspirin can do it, and sometimes mechanical irritation like picking at the nostrils may do it. It's very important that as you treat nosebleeds, the first thing that you should do is have the child blow his nostril. The reason for this is that you're blowing the clots out of the nostril. If clots remain in the nostril, then as soon as they're dislodged by sneezing, the bleeding starts again. So you must blow the nostril. This is whether it's an adult or a child. You blow the nostrils out and then you may apply pressure with your finger and thumb for 15 to 20 minutes. Firm pressure on the nostril, this way. Whilst applying this pressure, it's important that you sit straight up and have your head bent forward just slightly. I want to stress this because it's been a habit for many years now to have people put their head back when they're holding the pressure. This encourages bleeding down the throat. So it's important that you put the pressure and keep your head forward. This way you will prevent any further dislodgement of blood into the throat. Now, if in spite of being in an erect position and applying the pressure, you continue to experience a nosebleed or blood continues to go down into your throat, then this signals that you need to see the physician or maybe get to the nearest emergency room. So keep in mind, the most important thing I'd like you to take away today is you must blow the nostrils first so that you may remove the clots and then firm pressure with your finger and thumb on the nostril. I might also mention today that the habit of putting an ice pack on the forehead and the back of the neck is of dubious value and perhaps was done years ago, but we do not recommend it at this time. Thank you.